points, poorest regions and epidemics epicenters. International organizations carry out their activities in parts of the world where they are critical for people. They unite countries and continents, save millions of lives and solve global problems. Watch more of this in Kazakhstan International Vectors. Traffic infrastructure in developed countries is to generate power. More and more cities are being built around smart infrastructures. 80% of the world population can be suffering from lack of water within 10 years. Asian glaciers are melting from year to year, losing about 10% of their mass. The Almaty-Bishkek Highway is an arterial road which links the largest cities of two states. Lots of cargoes and thousands of passengers are being carried along this route every day. With the beginning of a tourist season, the traffic flow increases several times. As a result, the motorway needs more frequent repairs, says Mahmoud Omaldin. He has been working in the road-building sector for 40 years and regards roads in any country as blood arterias. If it were not for roads, the industry of Kazakhstan would never be developing at such rate. However, keeping roads in good order requires regular repair. According to international data, the total length of roads all over the world reaches about 25 million kilometers and the railroads about 1.2 million kilometers. They account for almost 25% of the global cargo turnover and 81% of passenger transportations. Why roads have become a strategic priority of countries and where cargoes are carried from seaports. Coming up next. Asia. This region is considered as one of the prospective in the world. Its sustainable economic growth attracts foreign investors. The foreign trade in the region is at the stage of active development. Therefore, special emphasis is put on international organizations, including ASCAP. Infrastructural projects in particular, road networks are now being developed. The UN Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific deals with the stimulation of the economic cooperation between its member countries. It was established in 1947 with the headquarters in Bangkok, Thailand. The organization consists of 62 states. And in terms of activities, um, ESCAP is primarily um, a think tank. It does research, it does policy analysis, and it then uh, uh, supports and promotes um, the policy formulation and policy decision-making among governments. One of the largest modern projects ESCAP also participates in is the construction of the Silk Road, or the corridor, leading to the economic prosperity of Asian countries. We have three uh, agreements uh, that have been concluded. Um, one is on the Asian Highway, and the Asian Highway recreates um, the ancient roots of the Silk Road. And it is an agreement in which the 62 governments of ESCAP um, are giving each other seamless cross-border connectivity. This project implies the construction of the entire road system in the territory of Asia and the Pacific. Along with the increasing trade turnover, it will attract more tourists, experts say. The similar agreement on the development of Trans-Asian Railroad Network has also been signed. Apart from railroads, it includes border crossing procedures and regulation of cooperation between different authorities. They assist in solving the related problems and facilitate the trade turnover in the region. For us, it is also of great importance. The higher is the trade turnover between the countries, the higher is the trade turnover between the countries, the higher is the economic activity and the greater is the number of workplaces and higher budget revenues. Along with the above-mentioned projects, the agreement on the construction of dry ports has been signed. Dry ports are defined as logistic facilities specializing in maintenance, temporary storage and clearance of cargoes. The agreement on dry ports and dry ports are built along um, either the Asian Highway or the Trans-Asian Railway system 
and uh, the dried pods are um, inland pods that uh, conduct all the operations of maritime ports. But because maritime ports are very congested and landlocked countries don't have direct access to maritime ports, all the functions of maritime ports can actually be conducted in the dry ports in the landlocked countries such as Kazakhstan. According to the organization's officials, such projects can help Kazakhstan to become a transit zone between Europe and China. Indeed, cargo transportation from one point to other will last only eight days. For comparison, currently it takes two weeks. Currently, the annual trade turnover between Europe, Asia and China makes up about $600 billion. Cargoes are mainly transported by sea, so we want to assume 10% of this volume. For reference, nowadays it does not exceed 2-3%. to Besides major and long-term infrastructural projects, the organization is also capable of solving urgent problems in good time. Among such problems can be natural catastrophes. Thus, ESCAP has estimated the Asia-Pacific region as the most disaster-vulnerable region. The organization is also capable of responding fast in case of a financial turmoil. So I think that unpredictable events in the world, uh, they require us to maintain flexibility and they require the United Nations to adjust to the evolving needs of our member countries. The increasing of cargo and passenger traffic adds more work to customs services of both countries. When warm weather comes, the work volume of works the road repair team headed by Mahmoud Omar Din doubles. Annually, they have to reconstruct several thousand square meters of roads. And this is not only the issue of comfortable traveling, but of safety as well. Even the repairing of a smallest road section requires several hours. Any road should be absolutely perfect, explains Mahmoud. Firstly, we clean and blow the groove with a special device. Then we cover the edges with bitumen and put asphalt. After that, we flat it with a roller. Even covering a small pit takes a long time. However, it is necessary for maintaining the road surface in good condition. How can ordinary water damage relations between neighbors? Coming up next. Mid-20th century, the world is facing the economic crisis. The international community consolidates for recovering the ruined economy. A number of organizations were founded to help regions. In 1947, in Shanghai, the Economic and Social Council decided upon the establishment of the Organization for Assistance to the Countries of Asia and the Far East. Um, so our organization was set up uh, just after the end of the Second World War and it was a period of uh, great destruction. Um, it was a period in which there was widespread poverty, hardship and a very deep lack of trust among countries. The Economic Commission for Asia in the Far East rendered aid technical assistance, promoted cooperation and created projects focused on solving the key problems of the region. Two years later, the organization's headquarters was moved to Bangkok. In 1974, the association was renamed as the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific. So when we look at how the region and the world has evolved, of course, there are still many problems, uh, but the Asia-Pacific region is the most dynamic, fastest growing. Water is not only a moisture source, but also a reason for serious conflicts. The peak of disputes, about 40 of them, was registered in the period between 2010 and 2013. In most cases, water resources turned into a battleground in Eastern Asia and African countries where the population is severely suffering from lack of water. In total, there are 227 major rivers throughout the world, which are overloaded by dams and channels by 60%. At the same time, most of people could settle only near 10 rivers. 
Peaceful settlement of water issues is a key topic at many conferences. Experts call countries to solve these problems with joint efforts. Specialists of international organizations, including ESCAP, play the role of advisors and project developers. One of the ESCAP projects which is being implemented in our region is related with energy and water balance. As far as we know, it is one of the sore subjects for Central Asian region and the countries have essentially different points of view. One of the first and very important ESCAP programs has been settling the dispute between five countries on Mekong River, which flows along China, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam and Cambodia. Owing to the talks initiated by ESCAP and close cooperation between the states, equilibrium has been achieved. It gives new impetus to the talks. It is no secret that internal and trans-regional disputes still exist and international organizations are called to ensure further development and joint efforts to solve these problems. The result of the work confirmed that common efforts provide more benefits for each country than conflicts and wars. Thus, currently, well-being of 60 million of people living along Mekong River depends on a right decision. Um, I think our activities are very much based on promoting cooperation among governments. And by promoting cooperation, uh, we promote understandings, we promote common approaches, we promote uh, solutions to problems, and in that way we further the development Process. Presently, several autobahns are being built in Kazakhstan. They connect not only large cities, but countries as well. Foreign investors also participate in such projects. According to Mahmoud Omar Din, such major construction work ensures sustainable livelihood to hundreds of thousands of specialists. Moreover, analysts forecast that freight traffic volume can be increased threefold owing to a well-established infrastructure. The construction of roads, power stations and other infrastructural projects directly affects regional ecology, as SCAP experts say. Because of that, a number of ecological programs have been developed. One of them is called the Green Bridge. It implies the expanded use of alternative power sources and other modern technologies. It can also improve the functioning of all other infrastructures. Uh, more and more cities are being built around smart infrastructures, um, uh, information and communication based transport systems can reduce the congestion, can reduce the pollution, can improve the traffic flows, can improve the safety of transport systems in urban centres. Another global project proposed by ESCAP to the countries is the establishment of uninterrupted communication in Asia-Pacific region by means of the high-speed internet. We are very much focused on connectivity and in particular on infrastructure connectivity. Um, so we will continue to work on the implementation of the transport connectivity agreement. Solar batteries instead of asphalt. This brainchild of Dutch inventors replaced 70 meters of a bike path. It is capable of generating electricity, charge accumulators and send signals to maintenance teams in case of breakage. By 2050, innovators from the Netherlands plan to equip all the country roads with solar panels. It will make it possible to get energy not only for vehicles, but for buildings as well. <laughs>